Howdy, folks. Well, here it is, the old D-282. Here's a quick update on the situation with the 706. I made a community post here on YouTube a little while back at the start of winter uh, saying that I took this in to get rebuilt and uh, ran into a bunch of problems. Right behind the sleeve, right behind this sleeve on the fourth cylinder, there's a huge crack in the engine block right into the uh, water jacket so I decided I'm just gonna part out that engine and get what I can get out of it and then uh, I got a little surprise for what I'm gonna be putting in the old 706 so here's what it's looking like right now I figured if I'm gonna cover that up for a second don't want to show that yet I figured while we're going through this much trouble I might as well just, you know, kind of restore it and do it right. I bought a front mount auxiliary tank. I've wanted one of those for a long time and getting everything cleaned up and gone over the proper way. Need to get this pressure washed and gone through and painted. I'm not really fixing everything. I'm just fixing what I know was broke or needed attention when I took it in to get an overall like the the hydraulic pump here you know these ain't super expensive you can get a rebuilt one for 260 bucks or you know I could just take that off and have it rebuilt which is probably what I'll do just to keep you know what I'm familiar with on the tractor so new wiring harness uh, brand new gauges up top. I've never done any wiring before so this will be a, a fun project. Learn a little bit of stuff. Put a new seat on it. You know I'm just looking forward to kind of going over everything and learning some more about it and fixing all the oil leaks and doing it right. Make something real reliable out of it that I'm confident in that I did the work on myself. Now the only thing I will not be doing myself is rebuilding this Cummins 5912 valve that I bought. Now I'm going to have this rebuilt over the winter going into 2030 or 2023. I had this shipped to me from Texas. I had to run about two hours away to pick it up. There it is, Cummins. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Um, Oh, come on now. There we go. If you can see on the far right side, it says advertised horsepower, 190 horsepower at 2,500 RPM. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. This is going to be a basket case to put in this tractor. I know it fits. I know people have done it before. That's why I bought it. Yeah, I need a, an adapter plate and possibly motor mounts to go on the frame rails. I'm not sure uh, if the motor mounts that are on it, it came out of a bus, but those will work. Probably not, but you know, new clutch, new flywheel. I think I have to put a, a flywheel out of a 1066 in this in order for it to be compatible with that 5.9. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to rebuild the wide front the best I can, repaint everything, you know, just do it right and do it once, make something I'm confident in and proud of, even though this is going to turn into a hell of a financial investment, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Got a lot of the old parts off, a lot of this stuff is for sale, if anybody's needing any D282 parts. You know, got the oil, the oil base and cover, the uh, back support plate off the engine, oil cooler, flywheel, head, clutch. I don't know if I can reuse the same clutch, so I'm just kind of holding on to it, but keeping the air cleaner, but you know, oil pan and stuff like that, used alternator. This right here is stuff I've taken off that is going back on. This was a new radiator two years ago, so I'm reusing that. 
I kind of jumped the gun and repainted all this hood panels, so I don't know if I'm going to have them sandblasted and just do them again or what I'm going to do whenever I go through and repaint it. I'm just going to have to see how the colors match up. It might be just fine. But that's kind of a uh, kind of an update. I made a post about, you know, having the engine rebuilt, and then I just kind of never told you guys anything further. So if you guys need any of those parts, feel free to let me know. I'm more than happy to work out a deal with you. And uh, I'll try to keep you updated the best I can. I don't really know if I'm going to make a whole video about restoring this or whether I'm just going to make a few odds and ends stuff about cleaning parts and repainting or what I'm going to do. But this is my project at the moment and what I'm working on amongst other things on the farm. So have a good one, guys.